Sitting real quick, do you understand? Yes, sir. As soon as you get on that plane and you're on your way to Afghanistan, you understand? Yes, sir. Bless the Lord. Dirty weapon. Awesome. Awesome. I must recognize him. Get him now. Look down. That's Rust. Automatic weapons failure. Get to the right, Rust. Get to the right, and Rust. I can see talking port arms too. Get on your face. It's all oriented towards, we, we, we orient it towards combat. You know, because hey, if you've been told to do something, you told to move or do something, and you don't do it, people can lose lives. I think that the end product, the end state, making a Marine, that's the most rewarding feeling that I think any drill instructor can say that they've experienced, someone that can say that they, they've actually felt what it felt like, felt the goosebumps. Uh, when they watch their recruits walk across the parade deck. I'm doing something to better these recruits. I'm doing something to change their lives in a positive way. Hey, face that way. Aye, sir. Now get in a single file line. Aye, sir. Face that way. Aye, sir. Get in a single file line. Aye, sir. Take your covers off. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Back up. Stop, 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 stop. Like halfway in front of him. Make sure everybody has their portholes off, please. Alright, I'm going to take, take three pictures. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to take one. I'm going to take one. Now you're on budget control. But basically, in a nutshell, they get here, you know, they get on those yellow footprints, they get down here, they come here with all their hair, they come here with their civilian clothing, that all gets stripped away from them. You know, we, we break them down to that basic, take, take away the individualism, take away the eyes, they can no longer say I, and we break them down, we, we start building that team concept. First phase, uh, they are still learning. They're still learning. They're brand new here. They are being taught the basic fundamentals of uh, customs and courtesies. They get a bunch of knowledge classes and physical training as well. They PT an awful lot during first phase. Uh, that gets them into the group. Get over the park! Get over the park! Ah. Run in place. All the way down. You're on the line, just like that. I, I have, uh, I think it's three or four that are still 17 years old. You know, they had to get their waiver to come in and whatnot. And they're and they're young, and you can tell they're young. The younger, the younger kids that typically come here during their summer after they graduate high school, they're they're uh, they're more willing to uh, to do the things that we tell them. They just whine about it a lot more. They cry about it a lot more. They complain a lot more, and they expect sympathy, because I guess that's what they're used to as as they grow up. The uh, the older crowds, the ones that come during the winter and in the fall, they they typically don't have those problems. They just don't want to deal with a lot of the nonsense in their mind. It's a lot of nonsense. I'm a grown man. I have my own kids. I got my own family. You can't talk to me like that. You can't make me do that. Get up! Get up! Get up! Blast the bus! Blast the bus! Get up! Get up! I know you're not gonna be on your day on me. Blast the bus! All all across the board, uh, they come down here. They're, they're gonna get the discipline, whether they're old or young, out of high school or 35 years old. They're gonna get the discipline. That first training day, they had no idea what to do, 
what was expected of them. Doing everything has an order to it. It's not just like, okay, get dressed. No, you, you from the, from day one, you need to tell them, like, no joke how to get dressed because they'll take their, their time and, you know, we don't always have time to, to mosey around. And... I know he said bar rack. Pay attention, get on the bar rack. Right. Pull it over, they're going to get it right. right well, smooth this stuff out before you're going to just throw it on there. All right, right. Sir. But they wanted to be here. They were hungry. They, they wanted that knowledge. They wanted to experience boot camp. A couple of days later, an awful lot of them are down in the, they're down in the dumps, for lack of a better term. Uh, they don't want to be here. They don't understand what's going on. The, uh, the adjustment has not set in. You know, we got to be moving all the time, you know, trying to, to you know, get them ready for, hey, if we tell them to do something, you need to do it now. And it, it's, it's all oriented towards, we, we, we orient it towards combat, you know, because, hey, if you were told to do something, you told to move or do something, and you don't do it, people can lose lives. So we, we try to relate as much as we can to that, and, it's, and, we, and we orient it and explain it to them, and they, and they start to understand, okay, hey, when you tell me to do this, it's for a reason. It's, you know, instant will and obedience. So everything you do has a, has a purpose. Going into the second phase, we start uh, orienting the training into uh, rifle marksmanship with uh, a, a week worth of classes during the grass week and a, uh, a week worth of the actual firing. And we're the first Marines to recruit C outside of their drill instructors and we teach them everything about their M16A2 service rifles for the first week, all the fundamentals, and we train them to become basic riflemen in the United States Marine Corps. Put those shots right on. You might have to go back to A3 minus two, but that, you'll be fine. Should I come back to A3 minus two first and then nope. drop up? No, nope. stay A3 minus one for tomorrow, and then when you start doing it, if you see that your shots are high, go back to A3 minus two. No, we tell them at the beginning, the first thing we try to do is uh, let them know that we're not their drill instructors, that we're not gonna kill them. And we try to let them get relaxed with us, and uh, kind, of, kind of get down on their level a little bit because they've been shaking up a little bit with their first phase. So we let them know right off the bat to be relaxed and that's the best thing that's going to put that shot in the black every time if they're relaxed. Sling that weapon and walk up. Recruits uh, come down here, get tense up. They're scared to fire the rifle. Most of them, about 98% of them, have never fired a weapon before. So we try to get them to relax when they come down and, and see their PMIs for the first time. It's going to get worse. Here's the target right here. You want the target in the center of the wobble. Good to go? So you kind of just kind of have to guess since it's wobbling. Or you're you right. have to trust it. It's not guessing it. You're trusting it. Nice. Okay? Bring it up. Put it on. Put it on fire. Don't press the trigger. All right, you're fine. You can have your finger rest up. You're going to line your sights as you come down. The more it wobbles, the more time it's there, the more it's going to wobble. Put it on safe. All right, sit down. So during the second phase, they actually, uh, they're, they're, they're doing in their minds more marine type things. It's not the knowledge, it's not the drilling. Wow, we're actually down here pulling triggers, seeing rounds go down range, and you know, it's becoming more of a reality to, to them what they're doing and why they're here. 